so um, my name is Colby and I'm a CEO of Akera Core, and um, we are. I'm going to pre pre present um, what we our research area, the project that we have funded by NSF, SBIR. Next, please. Yeah, and the uh, my company started um, in 2016 when I was a faculty at UC Santa Barbara. Uh, based on the surface treatment technology inspired by uh, marine bioorganisms. And when pandemic um, started next, we thought we can help to address the pandemic um, by um, introducing uh, our, by applying our surface treatment technology for, um, for many surfaces because we can make anti-microbial surface to uh, kill the viruses and bacteria on contact continuously. And we know that um, CDC wasn't very um, helpful because um, they are also some sort of uh, um, in a confusion that they said we don't need mask in the beginning, but it's common sense that covering your face when you're coughing or when you're sick is, is, is absolutely common sense, but there, there were confusion. and. And they also said um, we have to wash our hand more. And they also we they uh, gave us a direction that we need to hand in this twenty second. But they did not give us how to sanitize your hand with sanitizer because our core sanitizer are eighty percent in the U.S. and in the world used in this pandemic, but it's only effective when you keep your hands wet in our core for 15 seconds. But most of the people use our core hand sanitizer. They apply it after two seconds, they try to dry it up because they don't want this, right? Then your hand is not sanitized. So, um, and contact transmission was one of the, um, one of the major route of this pandemic and infection because you touch the surface after you touch in your face or or eyes and is is, but um I think so. So we instead uh, try to you know explain to uh, government officials or CDC rather we decide to to provide better product that people can use on their hand or as a disinfectant on surface that the coding can kill virus and bacteria continuously so that they don't need to worry about those instructions so and and also before pandemic or after pandemic there were like more than hundreds and thousands of people died by secondary infection from hospital or from from infected from friends and family it, it was there it wasn't it, it, it's not new it was there already and then and we need to address these issues you know Continuous. So next. So, uh, but but current approach is is for for uh, um, you know treat those patients, especially in ICU, was using you know biocide releasing coding that's potentially um, genotoxic and cytotoxic, and also it, it takes longer time to kill germs. And other approach that, that people are taking is cationic polymer coding that, that people use right now. And all the um, uh, 24 hour protection uh, disinfectant and sanitizers in the market uses this single charge cationic polymer coding. But I will show you the result later, it's not very effective. So our approach here was to, to provide much more effective and in, inexpensive uh, surface coding that is, uh, two charges, Gemini uh, charges uh, ammonium compound that is like orders of magnitude stronger, um, higher surface um, activities than, than the state of the art. Next, please. So this is kind of cartoon image of how this um, surface coding nano, like it's gonna be like two to five nanometer uh, thick coding can break the membranes of, of cell membranes of, of virus and envelopes of, of envelopes of envelopes of virus and cell membranes of uh, viruses. Next. 
So uh, we, we did some uh, uh, proof of, of concept studies that, that it shows that our coding can kill, continue to kill the viruses and bacteria on the surface. And it, it makes the surface very hydrophilic. And next. So um, this is also other test that, that we uh, based on the AST method, time kill determination. You see that in 15 seconds, the Gemini coding can kill it completely in 15 seconds, but 70% dark hole still leaves some, some uh, bacteria on the surface. Next. And 24 hour, hour test, alcohol, you know, once it evaporates, this is like porous textile product. So um, it could still, some residue of alcohol remains on the surface for four or five minutes. So it's still effective. But once it evaporates completely, it then can kill anything on the surface. But whereas our Gemini coding can kill for 24 hours. Next. And you know, it's even porous, uh, porous surface, you see that it's, it multiplies. Next. And this is non-porous surface such as glass and plastic and and metals that that that, that use for door handles and and surface countertop and alcohol evaporates in, in you know five to ten seconds and it loses its effectiveness. And in next. And the comparison between ours and state of the art, which is single charged uh, uh, ammonium coating that uses in airport and airplane, they, they, these days we, we use this coding so you are safe for 24 hours. But the problem is, yeah, it, 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 there was coding that can kill the germs and bacteria, bacteria and viruses for 24 hours, but how long does it take to kill it? In five minute test, it can't kill anything. It's, you know, coronavirus, it only kills 70% of coronavirus for five minutes. So yeah, if you wait for an hour, it will kill the virus. But in those hours, how many people will touch the surface? Like hundreds and thousands, then you get all contact transmission occurs. So compared to our new uh, Gemini ammonium coated surface, it kills everything in five hundred percent in five seconds. We need this kind of technology unless CDC provides much better uh, you know, instructions and direction that how people were, were, um, or stop this uh, um, transmission, contact transmission. So next. So uh, currently we are um, on, you know, working with some large uh, distributor to distribute this technology and license out to some companies, but we're still looking for uh, uh, other strategic partners or so university that we can do more dive deep into, you know, into more test more um, viruses and bacteria to see if there's any other area that we can we can help with this uh, coding technology. And next, please, Helen. So the markets are huge, and it's anti microbial cathedral alone is forty billion dollar market, and disinfectant is like ten billion, twenty five billion, but it, it it only goes up. So there are lots of market, like huge market opportunity here. And next. But more importantly, we can save lives with this. And it's not just about uh, SARS-CoV-2, it's, it's more about upcoming dangerous, contagious uh, uh, you know, diseases, infectious diseases. We can, we can prevent uh, those um, pandemics with this. Next, this is our um, members of our team. And there are actually one, the two people from Columbia University and working with us. So thank you and I'll take any questions. <laughs>